Hello, it's Dave here from Mega Points Controllers. I'm just wiring up this Mimic panel. Uh, it's one of my new demonstration panels. It's uh, 900 millimeters across by 240 mil high. So it's a fair old size being three foot. And I thought this was a excellent opportunity to talk about how we can extend the reach of cables within the panel itself. Now I've been fortunate enough in this panel um, to not actually need any because I have the multi-panel on one side and an expansion board for LEDs and buttons on the other and they were able to locally connect without requiring an extension cable but um, it did prompt the thought so uh, let's have a chat about that. Traditionally if you were using one of the buttons um, and it would come with the shorter version of the lead I would suggest that you ordered the 50 centimeter version oh, let's get the right one here we go here's the right version of the lead it would come with this and if you wanted to go longer you'd have to order a, uh, a longer version of 50 centimeter lead which works but wasn't as ideal as it could be and it didn't really solve the question of well it's okay extending buttons what about LEDs? Um, the cables would sort of fit a regular servo extension cable, but you had to force it. So what we've done is we've now introduced and listed on the website extension leads. Uh, these are, I think, 30 centimeters, about 30 centimeters long. Uh, this is a, uh, a two pin one, which is for extending buttons. So if I connect my button here, and plug this into the extension lead it'll um, it'll increase its length by 30 centimeters and the advantage of this is if it's not long enough you can add another extension lead and daisy chain them and we also have the three pin version with the correct plug for this so you can also extend the LEDs in the same manner by 30 centimeters and then daisy chain further if you need. So these are available in packs of 12. The um, LED extension cable has the part number PEX01-03. You'll find it on the um, mimic panel area for the of the shop. And the button is PEX0102. And again, that's in a 12 pack. Now this, uh, this Mimic panel isn't complete yet, I've got to finish it off, actually seal down the lid uh, and make some changes and uh, tidy it up inside. But let's, uh, let's open it up and you can see what I've done. Well, first of all, I've recessed the power connectors uh, so everything is flush. The network connector is sitting here and it's also flush which means I can just plug a cable straight in and out. And I'll be demonstrating this at exhibitions in conjunction with our new demonstration plug-in router as well. So I've added a second network port on the front and I can just jack in a router to demonstrate as and when it's required. So I'll just undo the screw from the end that holds this together. It's designed to accept three on the top, three on the bottom and two on the sides, but I think really... Um, one top, bottom and one on each side will do for this. It's made of plywood. Lift the lid and you can see the mess inside before I tidy it up. So there's a battery sat here. So I tend to run my demo panels off battery but normally you'd have, the, have this going to your 12 volt supply. And here's all the cabling waiting to be tidied. So I have a network port here, coming back to the multi-panel and then out on this side there's a another network port here as well. I've got the on off switch because I'm running it from a battery. I've got the charging socket which will do it and then I've got the cables. So I've got the main multi-panel here, uh, the spaghetti with everything plugged in but this will be tidied up shortly and I'll brace everything down with these tie wraps and neaten it up and again I'll do the same here. So hopefully it's obvious now you can see what I've done. The expansion boards here take on this whole section of the panel and the multi-panel itself takes on all of this. I think there are how many? Hmm, probably about 40, 40 channels on this wired up at the moment. But it was this that prompted me to show you the extension cables 
for the LEDs and the buttons. If you're looking on the website for the old uh, longer length button cables, I've unlisted them because I think the extension lead is the best way to do it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great time.